Hello summoners, welcome back to another damage comparison video and in this one we are going to talk about masteries versus no masteries. Now this is a little bit unrealistic, I'm sure no one is running like playing the game without any masteries but at the same time they are the most important thing in the game, the only thing in the game that have permanent value and that is the reason I like to talk about them once in a while and uh, the last video did really well, I was looking at other masteries uh, and there are a bunch of them where they are extremely powerful like precision, cruelty but I don't want to make a separate video on each of them so this is more like a combined thing where we're looking at the difference offensive masteries have in general and you can see like the if you see winter soldiers health pool already there's a pretty big difference and we're like 50 seconds in uh, this video and it's not just about the damage like if we talk about deep wounds and Gwen pool in general they just synergize extremely well even if you take out the extra bleed damage that you're doing because um, of her abilities because if you have a bleed and the armor break expires it automatically refreshes same thing with the Enver weight on the SP2 and uh, like if you have more stacks of bleed you have a chance of getting stunned which means that you don't have to parry and you can go in which is also a pretty big reason why we uh, have more hits like um, otherwise we started the fight at the same time and yeah like these damage comparison videos they are never 100 percent accurate sometimes like the ai is just different it takes a while to throw a special or something but the stuns they definitely are a big reason why we are like 10 hits ahead at this point and uh, there's just so many masteries like uh, mystic dispersion with a lot of mystic characters they just enhances their abilities and everything but as you can see like Gwenpool uh, with masteries is done another reason i picked Gwenpool by the way is she used to be my favorite character in the game and i barely play her anymore like i have her at 565 but i haven't used her in so long so it felt pretty good but as you can see like we are done there and with uh, without masteries we're not even 50 percent there so it's a pretty big difference and I'd say uh, like cruelty, precision, uh, they're just extremely important if you are starting. They're not even that expensive so pick them up uh, and then you have some more expensive masteries uh, like deep wounds and assassin. I might make a video on assassin, it's just a little bit harder to make because you do extra damage in certain portion of the fight. I might do one on courage as well. And then on the, the defense side, like willpower is the more expensive mastery. Coagulate is something that even I haven't unlocked in like four or five years. Uh, but again, masteries because they have permanent value, they are always going to be the best thing to use your units on. Because uh, like I remember, I have bought some unit deals in the game, like. Um, on 4th of July the th uh, 15,000 unit deals and stuff and for sure those give you a small boost to your account if you especially if you play competitively but uh, their value goes down a lot and it goes down extremely extremely quickly especially last few years with six star characters coming in and masteries are forever so do invest in them we still have the gifting event Stop trading GGCs and trade mastery codes instead if you need them. And that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this video. Share with your alliance and bye bye. Stay safe.